morning youtube hold on all right good morning youtube y'all ignore my clothes in the background I'm about to go wash by my mama in a few minutes but it is tuesday september 14th and y'all this has been the long awaited video it has been long awaited for y'all because oh i did say in my vlog i needed to talk to you guys and vent and if you hear any notice my son ah give me that pen this damn boy drawing on my wall go sit down go sit down Anyways, so y'all, um, I did say in my vlog that I need to talk to you guys or whatever, and this is what I need to talk to you guys about. So y'all, I quit my job. I quit my medical assistant job, and I'm about to get into why. <laughs> so, um, I was at my job. I worked at a primary care place, um, for a year and a half now, and it got too toxic for me. And as my Hispanic friends would say, it got real toxic -er yeah very 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 so um so y'all i love my co-workers y'all like my co-workers were like literally my best friends there put some let me put some we're gonna go down memory lane real quick i'm about to put some 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 pictures and, and videos real quick So yeah, those was my besties. And they still gonna be my besties. I'm still gonna see them. I love them. I feel like the only reason I stayed so long was because of my coworkers. And if y'all are watching this, shout out to y'all because y'all the reason I stayed, okay? But um, so my job just got too frustrating for me. Um, I saw too much favoritism. Um, like they would literally get on my behind about things and then the next person would be told zero zip and i wouldn't even do nothing as worse as they did but i'm not comparing my situation to nobody i'm not trying to dog nobody or nothing like that i'm just saying how i was it was like real real bad favoritism and i'm gonna tell y'all a little a couple of things that i'm gonna tell y'all what led up to me pretty much quitting um and no my first option wasn't to quit i will let y'all know so basically uh it all started when i started doing my own two facilities and traveling Things got real complicated then, and um, I basically got rolled up for something that I had no control over. So my doctor got mad. Um, basically, okay, with this other facility, I used to stay way past the time I was supposed to be there. I was supposed to be there till five. I used to be there till six, six thirty sometimes. Sometimes seven was the latest I stayed, and that's ridiculous. Like, if there's no patients there, why am I there for this long? But y'all, running those two facilities by myself was so freaking time-consuming, complicating, and they wanted me to be more than one person. So, this is what started it off. So, basically, my doctor got mad because one of the days, um, we saw 21 people at one of the new facilities. So, this was the second facility that they opened. Everything went downhill after the second facility. They opened the second facility, and when we went to it, we had 21 patients. We didn't get back to the office till 5. So what I did was I put all the demographics in. No, baby. Shh, shh. I put all the demographics in for the patient, like their name, their birth, social security, all that, just so they would be on the chart for that day. But that's all I did. And then the we had like eight narcotics that needed to be sent in. So I put in like a little bit of notes and stuff for them so my doctor could go in and send the narcotics for them. But everybody else was just regular people that we saw because he needed to send the narcotics that day. So I did that, right? Y'all, 21 people. I don't know. If you if you made a chart from scratch, you know how... If you made a chart from scratch, you know how time-consuming that is. So literally, doing one chart could take me an hour sometimes. Hour and 30, depending. This is a nursing facility, too. These patients have a list along of medications. Just adding that itself is hard. So basically, he got mad. So basically he got mad because I put in just minimal stuff for the people that he needs to send narcotics for. Instead of not doing it at all, I sent in minimal and he got mad about that. So um, he went to my supervisor and all that and it went all the way up the tree. And basically I fixed all the charts, whatever, boom. This a week later. I hear back about these dang on charts. And this was the charts of my birthday too, y'all. It was my birthday, y'all. Most people take off for their birthday. I worked for my birthday, though. And it was my birthday. 21 patients. I had plans after work, okay? I wasn't staying until 7 o'clock. I had plans. I already was at work all day on my birthday. So, um, I get another. I get an email about this doggone charts 
these charts again from this day and this is two weeks later i think something like that um basically saying that one of the charts was not done and i'm like oh my gosh so my lead came and went through with me and we looked and y'all come to find out one of the charts wasn't done and it was the first chart y'all i feel like somebody was setting me up y'all no way i skipped the first chart i went through each one of those charts to make sure they were perfect so my doctor would get off my behind and you mean tell me i missed that first chart somebody sent me up because i think somebody unmerged my chart but whatever so i was like dang i apologize and i'm like i don't even know how that could happen i was like you know it was the first chart i was like i went through each and every one of those charts to make sure it was perfect i don't even understand that happened so y'all why do you want to write me up for that so they wrote me up for that and i was pissed okay y'all i was pissed because i'm like i'm a human being like hold on i'm gonna turn my elf like i'm a human being if i did miss that chart I missed that chart. I'm sorry. I am a human. It happens. But I would never do something purposely, you know, um, to purposely. Like, I would never miss the chart on purpose. So, I was I was pissed. I wrote back. I didn't even sign that right up. I wrote back a whole paragraph, this, that, and the third. Because they, they went in on me, y'all. Like, trying to talk about my performance and stuff like that. And I'm like, dang, y'all was just on my behind. I'm not on my behind. Y'all was just literally... Oh, Takara, you're doing so good. You're doing great. You're running these facilities so great. Da da da, blah blah blah. And as soon as I mess up one chart, and and, and it wasn't even on purpose. Like I, I know how to fill out a chart. As soon as one chart, one chart get messed up, now my performance is lacking and stuff like that. Like I'm like, first of all, I was I was I was mad, y'all, because I'm like I still with this company through everything, and this company done been through a lot. Okay, y'all, it's been through a lot. We didn't got so many bad reviews and stuff like that because the physicians and um. Like the higher ups and all that, like they're 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 they they have terrible customer service and they treat their employees like poo. Okay, so we didn't had I literally when I got hired on after my externship, everybody I worked in because this was a, this was the uh, I worked in a different clinic my first half of being there. Everybody in that clinic around me quit. Everybody. One of the girls was trying to get me on where she was at because she was like, I feel like you shouldn't be there. Like this shouldn't be your first place you work at. But y'all, I'm loyal. I'm like, this is where I got hired at. This is where I'm going to be. And I needed my year experience, period. So, um, so yeah, I stood with them through everything. And for them to really sit there and say my performance was lacking because of one chart when y'all was just on me, literally, like, boosting my head up saying I had a bug on my wall. But y'all was just boosting my head up saying how good I was doing and how I'm running these facilities great by myself. And then as soon as I doggone mess up one chart, not even mess up, forget to merge it. Because the chart just wasn't merged. Y'all saying my performance lacking. So that already had me on pins and needles because it was already so much leading up to this. Like I said, the company treats their, their, their employees like behind, like booty. So I've been wanting to find me another job. I just really, really, really wanted to get to my year experience and then try to find another job. So, um basically after that like y'all it had me so upset i was crying and everything to my mom and i'm like mom i'm such a good worker like i'm one of the best employees and they really wrote this about me like so after that i started looking for another job and i want to say like a month a month after that yeah because that happened in june and i got a job offer in august so it was like a month month and a half after that um I filled out an application for another place and it was a pain management place that called me. I went to the interview. I loved them, y'all. It was a mother, mom, dad, and daughter, all doctors, and they all ran that facility together. Y'all, it was a great place. All the employees was great. Um, the hours were better. I did Monday through Friday, but Friday we got up at 12. So I got like half a day. It was literally a perfect opportunity for me. And y'all, I was just so comfortable where I was. Even though it was so toxic, it was time for me to leave. I wasn't appreciated. I was so comfortable where I was, I stayed. And I feel like my coworkers, yeah, they had a real big thing on it. Because, like, I love them. Like, we have so much fun every day at work. So I definitely stayed. And um, I turned down the offer. It was a $2 raise and everything, y'all. Like, I think back on this and I just want to punch myself. I turned down the offer and everything. And, yeah, I mean, I can't. I can't go back in time. It is what it is. I learned my lesson. Um, God was trying to give me a new opportunity. And I didn't take it. So after that, everything really started going. 
downhill this doctor y'all my doctor would literally he would come in cracking jokes with me all the time just cracking jokes because he knew i was a jokester he knew i liked the joke come in cracking jokes with me and then we were joking about something one day because he do it all the time with me always he'd be y'all and he'd be joking far too like not just joking with me far so one day he can't give me that give it to me one day he came in there joking and we was all joking laughing that we all laughing shit you would think nothing was wrong why he went to my supervisor saying he felt like my joke wasn't a joke and she needs to start checking up on us on Fridays because he feel like we're not doing any work. Because he was saying something about I was asking, we were joking, I was like, oh, because they schedule changed. And I was like, oh, are y'all still not going to be here on Fridays? And he was like, oh, so you don't want us here? And I started laughing. I was like, no, it's just that we get work done on that day. Like, when we don't have no doctors down on Fridays, so we're able to get so much of our work done, like, whenever we're behind. So he went to my supervisor saying he felt like we don't do none on Fridays because I made that joke. So yeah, y'all, I just was like, ugh. and y'all, it was so much more. I'm not trying to make it like these little petty things was the reason I left. It was so much more, y'all. It would take me, it would take a whole nother video for me to get so in depth. And I really don't even feel like upsetting myself. But yeah, so as some people may know, I'm not from Texas. I'm from Louisiana. And so we moved to Texas, I want to say, about three and a half or four years ago. And um, so I don't have much family out here. I don't. So my son was sick recently. And, you know, with COVID going around, your, your children can't go to daycare sick. I think even before COVID, they couldn't go to daycare sick. And plus, RSV was running around his daycare so bad. My child, this is his third time getting RSV. I didn't even know that's possible, but yeah. So, um, I call. I had to call in one of the days because I couldn't, y'all, I begged. I was trying to find anybody to take my baby because he, he couldn't go to daycare. And, I mean, somebody has to watch him. So, nobody would take him. So, I had called my lead like two hours before my shift, which is the policy, at least two hours before your shift. Called her and I let her know, you know, what was going on. And I'm like, I'm begging people. I'm trying to get somebody to take him. But, um, you know, yeah. So, nobody wound up being able to take him. So, uh, yeah. So, I had to, I, I stayed out and um, then they wouldn't let me come back the next day until I got a doctor's note. And he couldn't go to the doctor till the next day. So, I stayed out two days. And the second day, I only stayed out because they wouldn't let me come because I didn't have a doctor's note. I had to get one. He couldn't go to the doctor the first day I stayed out. So, y'all. So, and I already had PTO that Thursday, Friday. So, this happened Tuesday, Wednesday. I stayed out. And then Thursday, Friday, I had PTO put in, like, from a month ago. So, I didn't I didn't go to work because I had approved PTO. So, um, they called me that third. My lead called me that Thursday. And she, no, she texted me and said, uh, call me when you get a chance so I can tell you where to report to. Y'all was already piast because, I'm going to start saying that, y'all. <laughs> because I know what that means. I didn't been moved clinics already. And the only reason I feel like I didn't do too much about it because the first time they moved me, they moved me to the clinic. I was at now. Nah, I, I, I like the change. Like, it was close to my house and all that. But y'all not about to move me a third time. So, they were trying to get me to report to one of our other clinics that's an hour away from my house, three days a week, and then come to my original clinic twice a week. They said until things improved with my with my um attendance and all that, that, that and i'm like sorry it's my lead i was like what's the point in that i was like i'm being punished and then my punishment is me to report to another clinic for three days a week she was like yeah well you put us in a bind when you weren't here so y'all they got mad because okay i clean out my um my messages before i leave on the weekend that friday and this was labor day so we wasn't there that monday that friday i cleaned out all my messages so someone sent a message to me that Tuesday or Wednesday, a patient needed a refill on their um uh, uh psychotic medication. I wasn't there to answer it because I wasn't there. I called in. When you call in, when anybody call in, we always check other people's messages. That's how we do that. That's how it's supposed to be done. So they were mad at me. Well, the doctor was my doctor was mad at me because their message was never answered. How you want me to answer a message when I'm not there? If I call in, I call in. I'm not there, right? When anybody else call in and they're not there, their messages get answered by the other mm -hmm. people. That's not my fault nobody got to it. Like, that's not my fault. I, I have a computer to check my messages at home, but I would never. Y'all not paying me off the clock? And when I ran those two facilities, yeah, I did a lot of stuff off the clock for y'all. Y'all not doing that with me? No, not no more. So they got mad about that. She's like, well, you put us in a bind, so this is what ain't... <clears throat> 
this is what I, my higher up wanted me to do until things improved. And I told her straight up, I was like, I don't see no point in that. I was like, I, I'm, I basically was just tired of them picking on me because this is not the first time picking on me. Um, and then they wrote me up before me missing a day. Uh, my son was sick, really sick. And I brought him to the doctor and I had a doctor's note and everything and they wrote me up. And I had a doctor's note. And it's time I had a doctor's note. So I'm like, I'm tired of y'all going hard on me when I sit there and I be covering my behind. So I was like, you know what? I told her straight up. I was like, I don't see no point in me going to another clinic. I was like, it's fine. I'll put my two weeks in on Monday. I shouldn't have told them I was going to put my two weeks in because, of course, when Monday came, my lead was Petty LaBelle, nah. And I, she been snaking, y'all. My lead been snaking. Y'all, I got it. It's, it's going to have to be a whole separate video with me getting in depth about things. But my lead been snaking, and I've really seen it this time. So when I got on the phone with her, I told her I wasn't going to the other clinic. She was like, okay, well, you want me to tell her you're not going to go? I was like, yeah, you can tell her I'm not going to go, and I'm going to put my two weeks in on Monday. But I'm not going to another clinic. I'm going to finish my two weeks out at my original clinic. So I get there, and she was like, aren't you supposed to be at such and such today? And y'all, she bipolar too, y'all. She has a bad attitude. Bad attitude. So, but we all ignore it. Whenever she get in her moves, when she just be attitude, we ignore it. But y'all, I already didn't want to come in because I'm I'm mad. I'm my two weeks coming up. I don't want to talk to none of y'all. I was already mad. So she comes to me and talk about she came up, she came by me knowing exactly when I came in. So I knew she'd be a pen the bell because she knew I was gonna show up at that clinic because we had this conversation. So she come exactly at the time I come in and come up there to be petty. So I'm some, um, are you supposed to be at the other clinic today? And I was like, we discussed I wasn't going there. She was like, so you're not going? I was like, no. Like, I just said no. So, y'all, I'm real professional. I promise y'all, she got it out me, okay? Because, like, for real, like, I'm a real professional person. I, I, like, I leave my attitude and stuff at home. I don't do that when I go to work. I don't. So, um, get out your daddy stuff, baby. So, um, that's when she was like, uh, she just she's like, um, and she walked off. I'm already knowing what she gonna do. So she called, she go call to hire up my supervisor. And I get a call to my extension on my phone from her. And I answer it because I'm like, y'all not about to do this with me today. I was like, I just want to finish out my two weeks peacefully. That's it. Like, y'all not about to do this with me today. So then she calls the main extension. Somebody, my coworker answered. She came up. She was like, girl, she just called my extension for you. I'm like, whatever. Patch her through. I get on the phone with her and she's like, hey, Sakari, you know you're supposed to be at such and such today. And I was like, no, I told my lead that I'm not going there because I'm putting my two weeks in. There's no point. She was like, oh, well, did you put your two weeks in yet? I was like, I'm typing it as we speak because I was literally typing it as we spoke. And she was like, um, well, you can report to such and such and give them your two weeks, but that's where you're supposed to be. You're not supposed to be there. And I was like, first of all, y'all, I got dropped off at work because somebody was using my car for the day. I'm like, well, I got dropped off, so I'm here today. Like, I can go to the other place tomorrow, but I'm here today. Like, she was like, well, you need to call your ride. I hung up on her. I was like, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Boo. And then I really hung up because she was like, well, you're supposed to be at such and such till we found your replacement. So, y'all, they didn't know I was putting my two weeks in until I said it. But come to find out, ew, come to find out, they were having me go to that other clinic those two days a week and report to mine twice a week until they found somebody to replace me with to fire me. She effed up when she told me that. I hung up the phone on her and I was like, I'm out. I cleaned my desk off. I took my baby picture off my desktop and I told my coworkers bye and from my lead and everything. She just sitting up looking at me just like this. In front of her and everything, I was like, bye, y'all. I love y'all. You know, blah, blah, blah. Da, da, da. But I'm out. <laughs> Told all the nurse practitioners bye, and I left. And I'm not coming back. You're not going to fire. I'm not going to have fired on my um record. Sorry, y'all. I ain't never been fired from a job, and I ain't about to be fired now. You just told me what your plan was, which was childish. Like, if y'all felt that bad about me missing a day or two and having a doctor's note, then go try to make it like I always miss work. First of all, I'm at work 25-8. I'm always at work. How I miss work so much when I'm always here? I don't even understand that. So, um, I, I dipped, y'all. I got my, I told my ride, turn around, come pick me up. I'm gone. I'm about to go drive an hour from my house, get to another clinic, none of that. So, yeah. So, yeah, y'all. Long story short, because I'm already at 20 minutes on this, 19 minutes on this video. That's what happened. So, um, 
I know y'all gonna see in my next my other vlog that I just uploaded. Um, I got a job at Twin Peaks. It was supposed to be my side job because I was just trying to like. Okay, first of all, I've served for a long time, and um, serving is a good way to stack money. And so I was trying to stack some money to get my suite for my lashes. So that's why I got that side job. But now, <laughs> you see how that is. So it's gonna be my main for right now. I don't start till October though. <laughs> Um, and I'm just going to do lashes for right now. I'm trying to get some at-home jobs or something. But I think I'm going to take a little break from medical assistant just for right now. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to. This is a permanent thing. Uh, I already had a job call me yesterday to tell me to put my application in. Um, but we're going to see. I can't focus on my lashing working 40 hours a week anyways. So I'm looking at this as God giving me an opportunity to work on my craft, work on my business and stuff like that. I'm not salty, not bitter, not none of that. God got me. Uh -huh, period. Like, <laughs> literally, God got me. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So, I didn't change my schedule for lashing. So, I'm lashing uh, full time right now. And, yeah, I I'm fine, y'all. Things are still going to move accordingly. But I'm, I'm going to take a little break and see how I'm going to do this. Uh, if anything, if I do go back to medical assistant, I really want to find a part time or work at an urgent care where I could work 12 hour shifts. And then work like three 12 hour shifts and have like a you know a nice amount of hours in just three days so yeah y'all let me go my child is being my child so um we're about to go by my mom and stuff and um i haven't ate he's he ate though but yeah so yeah y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all later if y'all have any questions or want me to get in depth or anything let me know i'm gonna give y'all the tea for real but yeah y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all later i love you guys um all my subscribers that follow my medical assistant stuff i i'm still gonna be dropping medical assistant videos for you guys i won't be doing day in the lives but um i'm still gonna be dropping some gems some knowledge and stuff like that because at the end of the day i have a year and a half experience um you know i could still i could still let y'all know things you know i'm gonna still tap into those videos it might not be as frequent but i just want y'all to hang in with me there because my medical field stuff is not over y'all just follow me on my journey and i love you guys for continuing to follow me um yeah so y'all please like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna talk to y'all later see y'all in the next video